Hey guys, so I have my last of my best of series today and this is finishing it off with lip products. So I have everything from lip liners to lipstick, lip glosses, everything that includes lips. So I hope you guys all enjoy this and let's get started. So starting with lip liner, my favorite lip liner this year has been my NYX lip liners and these are so pigmented, so creamy and they... I think these are almost like high-end lip liners. My favorite is Pale Pink. This is a really pretty light pink, cool tone, pinky shade, and it cancels out any color in your lips already and just gives you a great base for any nude lip. Moving on to nude lipsticks, the, f woo, the first is actually a deluxe sample, but I keep saying I'm going to buy the full size, but I can't run out of this because it's humongous, the sample. So it's the Buxom, what is this called, Big and Healthy Lipstick. And the shade is Sydney. This is such a good lipstick. It's super pigmented. It'll cancel out all the pigment in your lips and give you this beautiful nude color. It lasts so long. It has a little bit of a minty taste to it. And it's beautiful. It's super creamy. It's seriously an amazing lipstick. The next is kind of along the lines of the same thing. It's the Kardashian Beauty Enjoy Stick. I first heard about this from Jaclyn Hill and she was talking about how much she loved them. And I never would have picked them up if I didn't hear her say anything about them. Mine is in the shade Modern Mauve. And don't let that fool you because it's super nude. It's not really a mauve color. But these, again, are the same sort of idea, the twist up. And they're super creamy as well and highly pigmented. And just, I love these things. They're super easy to use. Stick them in your purse, they're really good. My favorite nude lipstick is MAC Blankety. And this is an amplified finish. And it's a really nice, neutral, it's like a nude pink. It has a little bit of brown, a little bit of mauve undertones to it, but this is my favorite nude to wear because it doesn't make my face look super washed out. This is always my grab-and-go lipstick if I don't know what to wear. I always choose this one. For my favorite pink, this is the Revlon Primrose, and this is a, their cream formula. This is a really pretty cool toned pink lipstick. It has a lot of blue undertones to it, which I think is really flattering on my skin tone. It makes your teeth look really white too. But these are so creamy. Really impressive lipstick from the drugstore. Highly suggest you pick this up. For my favorite kind of corally shade, I have two. The first one is the one I am wearing right now and it's by Benicos and it's in the shade Peach. Not very creative there with that. But this I really like because it's really moisturizing. And it's really sheer too. A lot of the times with really bright corals, they can be a little overwhelming for me especially. Sometimes I don't, I don't know, I don't really gravitate towards a lot of them. So I like this one because it's super wearable, it's sheer, and you can build it up if you want more pigment. But a really good natural lipstick, and I don't feel bad about looking my lips. And then the next one is Lusterine, and this is by MAC. It's a luster finish. Again, I go for more sheer tone, kind of brighter lipsticks just because they're more wearable for me. This one actually is a little bit more on the pinky side, but a really fun, this is good for spring and summertime. It's one of my favorites because you can just put on a lot of mascara and a little bit of eyeliner and just a pop of this on your lips and you're good to go. My favorite red for this year is the Julie Hewitt Rouge Noir. Love the packaging of this. I think it's so cute. And this is a super creamy, red, intense lipstick. It has a satin finish, so it's not super matte, which I like, and it's just the perfect, perfect red. If you guys want to see me apply it, I do have a video just how to apply a bold lip, so I'll link that down below if you're interested, but this is such a gorgeous lipstick, so if you're really into vampy colors, then I would check out this one. I don't use them very often, but when I do, this is one of my faves. My favorite lip gloss is by far the Buxom lip gloss. This is in the shade April. I don't know what they're exactly called, but they're just, I think it's their standard lip glosses. I've never tried the ones that are just the creamy matte ones. This one has some glitter in here, but... I, I keep this in my purse and it's awesome because when you pop this on, it lasts so long. These Buxom products are so impressive. Seriously, if you want some new lip products, check out the Buxom line. But this, it tastes kind of, it's a weird scent. It's like a sweet, it's a sweet, kind of like almost cinnamon. I don't know. It feels really good on your lips. It's not chunky or anything. And it's really shiny and pretty. I love this. And last but not least are my Corez lip butters. These are so awesome. 
Uh, my favorite one is the Jasmine. This is a really pale pink color. It's almost gone. I use this so often. I keep these in my purse too. And you can use these as a chapstick, but they actually have really good color payoff, which is great. So if my lips are super dry but I want some color, I'll just use these instead of a lipstick. That'll dry my lips out more. The other one I have is pomegranate. I don't use this one as often just because it's a brighter color. But this is a really pretty, just kind of bright guava passion fruit looking shade. So those are my lip favorites for 2013. I hope you guys enjoyed. List some of your favorites down below too so we can get some more ideas. And I will see you all soon. Bye!